happy Friday. I hope you're ready for the weekend. I know I am. I'm just excited to have a weekend where we don't have any big plans. So let's get started with the Friday favorites and look at my hair. It's looking a little crazy today. Let's fix it a little bit there. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about some items that I've been really loving this week. Some items that are probably you may not have seen on my channel before and some items that you may have seen before. So let's get started with my favorite scent for the week. My favorite scent for this week is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Body Spray. I really like the way that this feels on my skin. It makes my skin feel nice and hydrated and yet it smells nice and soft and gentle. So it's, if you're looking for a nice soft scent for the summer or for the spring or whatever scent, whatever time of the year you're looking for a scent, I do think this smells really nice. If you like the Smoothie Star products that Soap and Glory offers and you like that scent, you would definitely like this because it smells exactly like that. You would love it. Um, this is a little 3.3 ounce container and I think this was only like, it was under $10 I believe. So if you're looking for something like this, I would definitely go check it out. It smells really good. It makes my skin feel hydrated. So, and with me with having dry skin, anything that I can do to make my skin feel hydrated is awesome. The next item I've been loving is this little mask. It's by Freeman Beauty. It's the Banana Oat Instant Smoothing Mask. It's the exfoliating smoothing smoothie for radiant skin. I feel like this has really helped clear up the spot right here where it broke out last week. It had a really bad reaction to a mask that I had used. It wasn't a bad reaction. It was like pulling all the bad stuff out. This has helped just kind of pull, further pulling it out and kind of clearing it up now so it's getting nice and clean. And this is for all skin types. And this smells just like bananas. So if you like the scent of bananas, you will love this. If you don't care for the scent of bananas, you will hate this. But this smells exactly like bananas and so for me, I love bananas. I love bananas and strawberries. I just love all kinds of fruit. So this smells really, really nice. I like the way it feels on my skin. And the whole time I'm wearing it, I can smell the banana. So, and for me, I love it. So I don't know. If you don't like bananas though, I definitely would not pick it up because it does have a very, very strong scent of bananas. It's not like a bad, overwhelming scent. It's just, it definitely smells like bananas. But it feels really good on my skin and I feel like it's really helped clear it up a little bit better. I feel like my skin's a little more radiant, a little more... I don't know, it feels a little more like it's exfoliated and nice and fresh, if that makes any sense. The next item I've been loving is since I dyed my hair a little bit darker, I got rid of most of the blonde. I don't know if you can tell or not. I got rid of most of the blonde because I was trying to go back to, this would be my natural hair color. So I had this little sample of the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Visibly Brighter Subtle, Subtle Lighting Shampoo. So I know this is a lightning one because when she first dyed it, it was pretty dark. And I was a little intimidated by how dark it was. So I started using this. And I feel like it's toned it down a little bit more to where it looks a little bit more like it's my natural color and not so dyed. If that makes sense. And it says this gradually creates a natural glowing color. And I do feel like it has made my, heart, my hair feel a little more healthy. Look a little more healthier. And look a little more shinier. So I think this is pretty cool. And I'm definitely going to go pick up the full size of this now. I'm almost out of it. So I really like this. So if you have darker hair like I do now... <laughs> then you might try this out and you might like it too. When you do use it, I will tell you it, the, the color of it is kind of like a bronze color. When you put it on your hands, it looks a little bronzy and you put it in your hair and I think that's what gives it the brightness to your hair is that it has that bronzed color to it. I'm not sure how it works. I just know it, it smells good, it works great and I really like it. The next item I want to talk about is this, um, let's not get to makeup yet, but there's only like two, three makeup items this, this week so it's not a whole lot of makeup. There's a lot of just other things that are beauty related. This is my Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I absolutely love this. I will definitely do a full review on this. I don't know how I could show you results because it's on my tummy area and I'm not going to show anybody my tummy. But anyway, I have been putting this on my tummy area where I had stretch marks from having kids and everything and I feel like it's really helped kind of like smooth it out almost like taking an iron across it a little bit because it's not quite as noticeable now. I don't feel like it's doing anything super dramatic where it looks like I had surgery or anything but I can definitely tell a difference so I had to go give this to my favorites this week and I really really love it. I think it smells really really nice. I mean you can tell. Let me see if I can get it open. I've obviously been loving it. I don't know if you can see how much I've used out of it already. I love this stuff and it just smells so good. It smells like a little bit of like coconut but then not like that strong coconut scent where you smell like you're wearing tanning lotion or anything like that. It just smells really good. It's got guarana extract. I'm not sure how you pronounce that word so I'm going to show you. So there's what it has in it. If you've not tried this yet I would definitely pick up the two ounce size and give it a shot because it smells so good and I feel like it does it does work. I feel like it's working. It's like a each day I can see a little bit of a change. It's not anything that's like dramatic like overnight, but I have noticed small changes. So 
I really do like that. The next item is this It Cosmetics number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. This is a um, primer that I use that has, it has like a lotion consistency. It's almost like, it reminds me a little bit of the, what is it, the Too Faced Hangover RX. I was going to pull it out of the drawer. The Too Faced Hangover RX, it has almost the same consistency. Uh, this makes my skin feel nice and hydrated, so if you have dry skin like me, then this might work good for you. And then plus, it's got a ton of different things in it that, that are good for your skin. So this is actually good for your skin, not only is it a primer that's going to help prolong your makeup, or that you're going to keep it on longer, but it's also going to help your skin. It's got um, hydrating anti-aging peptides, essential lipids, rich oils, vitamins, extracts, and botanicals. So... I don't know. I just think this product's really, really, really nice. I know it's a little on the pricey side for a primer, but if you are like me and you have dry skin, you have aging skin, then I want to do anything I can to help keep it hydrated and to keep it as fresh as I possibly can. So I really do like this a lot. The next two items are the makeup items, and then I have one lip item that I want to share with you all. And the makeup first makeup item is this It Cosmetics. It is the Live Laugh Live love laugh vitality disc and it looks like this when you open it up and it's got your bronzer it's got your blush and your highlight so when your bronzer looks like this let me see if i can get it on my hand for you so there's the bronzer and then the blush looks like this here's the blush and then the highlight here is the highlight the highlight isn't anything real strong it's not a real strong highlight it's not like a you know bam you can see it from the moon type of highlight it's a more wearable everyday highlight so if you're looking for something that you could possibly use every day this is a great little palette to pick up and it's nice and small and compact easy to travel with and it's got a really really large mirror on here so if you're looking for something that you can travel with this would be perfect because you've got your mirror you've got your blush your highlight and your contour all in one i really do like this product i think it looks really nice on the skin i think it makes your skin look a little more like i don't know just awakened if that makes sense. I don't know. Am I making any sense today? But anyway, I really do like that. The next item, oh, we forgot one skincare item. We'll have to go back to that. The next item I want to talk about is the eyeshadow palette that I've been using this week. My eyes are watering for some reason too. Um, it is the Too Faced Country palette. And here's what the little palette looks like. I recently hauled this in my birthday in New York haul. Uh, here is what it looks like on the inside. I just love this. I wasn't sure if I was going to make be able to make this work for me because I don't feel like it has a good transition color, like a good brown shade, but I ended up making it work every time I've tried it. I do have it on my eyes today. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So if you're interested in seeing a look, this is an eye look that I created using only this palette. So I can definitely show you all if you'd like to see it, but I really do like it. You don't think, I don't think you honestly have to have a light brown transition shade color. If you're looking for one that has to have that, this definitely, does not have that. I ended up using this little Nashville shade down here today as my transition color, which I know is a little odd, but it worked for me anyway, so it may not work for everybody, but it worked for me. And this little palette does come with a little mirror at the top. It's just a tiny little mirror though, so I technically, I really don't use that mirror. I think it's just a little too small for me, but I do like the shadows in here. I think they're nice and they're nice and pigmented. If you'd like to see a more detailed review on this, I can definitely do that for you all. Just let me know. And I like how compact it is. It's very small. It's like fits in the palm of my hand. It's nice and small and compact. But it's got enough in here that I could use and make several different eye looks with it. And then the lip product I've been using this week is the Tarte Exquisite Little... Uh, this is a lip gloss. It almost tra transforms into the shade that, of your lips. It kind of like warms up with the, the heat of your body. And then ch changes into a color almost to me. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do. But I feel like when you put it on... I'll show you. When you put it on, it's not quite as dark. You'll see here. It's not super, super dark. It's a little dark. And I feel like it darkens up a little bit more because I'm, I've been wearing this most of this week and I feel like it just looks like a very natural color on me. And I don't know if it's because it warms up or if it's just that's a good shade for me. I don't know. I just feel like it kind of like goes with my skin tone very, very well. And then of course the last item that I said I missed one is the Skin Iceland Icelandic Relief Eye Pen. This is for under your eyes it says dab cream gently on under eye area a slight cooling sensation is normal so here's what the little package looks like i did pick this up in a little pack that i received i purchased i believe at ulta that was a bunch of items from skin iceland 
and I've been trying this out throughout the week and I feel like it's helped with my under eye area where so it's not so puffy. I still, I still do see a little bit of puffiness but I feel like it's helped diminish some of it so that it doesn't look so dramatic. So I do like this. I don't know if it's like a holy grail item for me yet or anything. I will give it a little bit more time before I determine whether or not I absolutely love it. But for this week I feel like it has been doing a little bit of work for me and to me that's all that matters is is it working for you right now so we'll see about long term I'm not sure yet about that so anyway I do like this when you use it it does come with a little this tip right here's a little bit of a, a rubbery feel and then you put the product up and the product itself is white if you can see it right there and you just dab that under your eyes and I feel like it does like hydrate under your eyes and it does have a slight tingling sensation nothing dramatic nothing to where you're gonna be like oh my gosh I gotta wa wash it off it's, it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel anything like that. It feels just nice and cooling almost to me. So anyway, that is everything that is in my Friday favorites. Let me know what were some of your favorites for this week. Let me know what you've been loving, what you've been hating, because like I've always tell you all, both ways work for me. Both ways work for all of us, actually. Letting us each of us know, you know, what items you love, which items you don't love, <laughs> which items you think are crap. Because those keep, those when you tell us those items that didn't work for you and the reason why they didn't work for you, it could possibly save us from going out and getting the item and being like, crud, this doesn't work. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.